Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. And not too long ago, I had done a series video and I called it uh, five days making five projects in under five minutes. I had read all of your comments in the uh, series where I did those projects. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that had enjoyed watching the videos and uh, the projects that I had shared and created with you. And it was a lot of fun making them. So I decided to do another series video with you guys and share with you some of these uh, next projects. Starting with today and today being day one, I have decided to call these series uh, three days, three mini projects using six by six papers. I think you will love this series as well. It's it's just a really fun, easy project for you guys. Um, there's no scoreboard needed and we're just using six by six papers. And also I think this is a great little weekend uh, crafty project for you. If you just want to make something quick uh, and you just want to do a little bit of crafting, I think this would be a great little um, project for you as well. Uh, so this is the uh, day one project that I'm going to share with you and also how you can make one of these. I have decided to call this uh, a mini Happy Mail booklet because uh, I think this just will make a little great gift to send to someone as a little Happy Mail gift. There's a spot where you can add your little note or your letter and also add a couple of little package goodies in here for your uh, uh, recipient. It's also, I think, a great little way to send as a little Happy Mail uh, if you're in a Happy Mail swap or you wanted to add something extra into your Happy Mail packaging, you can also add one of these cute little booklets in there. Or you want to just send a little gift to cheer someone up or to say thank you. And it's just really cute. Again, just one six by six paper to make this little booklet and just a couple of scrap pieces of papers. And I use some crochet string to close the little booklet as well. And it's still a nice little um, small package to put in a small envelope. So I'm going to show you the inside now before um, we go ahead and make one of these. And um, it just winds around like that. And then I've just got a couple of little heart shape uh, that I use my heart punch just to add onto the end of the crochet string so that it doesn't come out of the, the little hole here. So over here is my little front uh, cover and I've got a little ephemera here with um, that I had used a foam dot to raise on top of the cover just to give it a bit of dimension and some enamel dots here. On the front here is a little side pocket and I've got a little cute little tool shaker here where I've added some sequins. I'll put the tutorial for this little cute uh, sequin shaker. Uh, embellishment down below for you because it's really easy to make and um, it's so much fun and you don't need a lot of uh, not a lot of uh, steps to make this as well and so this here is the little side front pocket there and I added some little a little pom-pom tool and a little bead just to add a dangle so when you open it up I have uh, an embellishment page here on the back of the cover and this here is one of my little paper banner layered embellishments uh, that I have in my shop and I thought this was perfect because it had the little hole here where I could attach the trim just to be able to use it as a closure and I do have these in my shop and I'll just show you um, it's you get a random pack of three of these uh, paper laid banner embellishments and these are just great you can add these to any projects you can gift this to uh, your crafty friend or use it as a gift tag and then um, so that's what I have in my shop and then over here on this page, I made a little tuck spot for a little pocket to add some more goodies in there. And then I've got this cute little uh, double pocket uh, with some goodies in here as well. And this also uses a 6x6 six six paper and you can make uh, three of these little double pockets. And I'll put that video down below as well if you want to know how to make one of these. It's really easy and there's two ways you can make this as well. You can make a pocket with a flip page or a double pocket. So that fit it perfectly in there and you can see I've managed to add some ephemeris in there. And then on the next page here, I also made another pocket. So I've got here a little a tag that goes inside that pocket. I've got a little flap that opens up and using a little flower ephemera just to use as a closure. And then I've got just a little 
cut apart a blank envelope that uh, you can add in there that your recipient can use and then this is the pocket so that's the pocket and then you can also write a little message on here if you like if you're using single-sided paper or that's another little spot you can add your letter in there so that just goes in there and then I use that little ephemera so it's just a little spot so that the little flap doesn't flip up and it just makes a little closure and then over here is a side tuck pocket for more goodies and you can add larger little package goodies or larger tags and I've got just a little fringe heart embellishment and this is also another packaged uh, embellishment pack of some embellishments I made I also done a video on how you can make these quick and simple embellishments without too much uh, layering and I just add a little embellished bag topper and just another cut apart but you can add whatever you like in this side pocket and I've did use a thumb notch here but I've covered it with the flower and that just fits in there and it's just really really cute and that's the back even on the back here you can add another envelope if you wanted to add um, your envelope for your letter on the back here so that is the cute little mini happy mail booklet so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make one of those so all you need is one piece of six by six paper and you're going to cut it in half so you'll get two pieces um, at three inches by six inches and then you're going to also want to grab a couple of your scrap papers and you want to cut that at three inches by two inches and if you wanted to make this part here this little uh, flat pocket you'll want to cut another piece of paper at five inches by about two one second i can't remember the measurement it is about about two and one eighth of an inch and um so you want one of those pieces if you wanted to, to do that so we'll grab the first piece of your three by six inches and we're just going to fold that in half and then you're going to have that opening that way then you're going to grab your next piece and we are going to place that on the top of the piece that we had just folded and you want to just sort of have it about halfway halfway over like that and I'm just going to turn this over this way so I can see where I'm folding and then you're just going to bring this part over and bring it and fold it up to that same fold line and just line everything up I'm just going to turn this back over now so you can see and then you can see now you're going to have like three sort of layers so you'll have that you'll have that piece and then you'll have that piece so once you've got that I'm just going to put this down you're going to take this piece out and we are going to apply glue to the edge here Oh, sorry not that edge sorry not that edge <laughs> you are going to put glue up the top along the inside of that fold line and then onto the bottom here because this part is the side opening and then we're going to bring this piece we're going to line it back inside that fold line and we're just going to bring this over and that will close that up and then you'll be able to have the uh, little side pocket here which is this one here so that's that part there 
All right, so we've done that. We're going to go back in here now. So then you'll have that and then you'll open it up and you'll have this page. And then we're going to create this little uh, front pocket here that's going to be on this page. So you grab that little piece of scrap paper that um, you cut out. You're just going to pick whichever one you want and you are going to fold that in half along the three inch side. You're going to put glue along the top there and along the bottom. And what you're going to do now, you're going to grab that page and we're going to just slide it under and then press those glue ends over on both sides and you'll see that you've got now two pockets one there and one there just the same as I have here one there and one there so that one's done now we're going to go to this part here with this part you get a couple of options so we have this little piece here that's going to create this side tuck pocket here you could also just use this part here and fold that over in to create a uh, side tuck pocket it'll just mean you'll have a shorter length in your page and then you can line it up and make it into a three by three little mini booklet so you still have your side tuck pocket there and when you open it up you still have your front pocket there front pocket uh bottom pocket there and a side pocket but if you want to have that extra length you're going to grab the other piece of scrap paper and we're going to do the same thing and fold that over or actually yeah, you can fold that over to whatever height or whatever depth you want you can also use this and just make it even a smaller fold I'll just go this way just so you can see and you can just make a little smaller little uh, fold there and you can create create a deeper pocket and then you just punch a little thumb notch here if you wanted to do that so you can use this part however deep you want your pocket but I'll just go with this um, I'll go with this much and again just putting glue on both ends and then because this part here is going to be attached to the back you want to put some glue along the back but again you can have that back bit as a side pocket as well if you don't want to adhere the back so now that just glues there and that has an opening and this back part is all sealed off but you could also have this with just no glue here and have that as a tuck spot too so you can play around with that and decide what you want to do with that but that pretty much does that part so you can see how easy that was to make this and again what I've done here was just added a large ephemera just to sort of cover most of this part of the pocket but yet you can still have room to uh, add something on the inside so that was that and then we'll just go back so I can show you and then you open that up and then you have this pocket which is the same as that one and then the next part which I'll show you how to create that little flap um, opening that's your pocket there and then you have your side tuck pocket and to make this part here if you wanted to do that I did cut that piece uh, which was at five inches by two and one eighth I only made it at two and one eighth because it was just easy enough to slide in there so you just sort of decide what's going to work for you in the width to be able to fit inside your pocket so what we do here we're just going to bring your paper inside and then you're going to bring this up and over and you want to just sort of fold it over so that it's sort of passes over the top part of that pocket and wherever you're happy with it then you just press that down and then if you want to uh, corner around your corner for the uh, opening you can do that so I'll do that so 
So that's going to be in the front. We're going to turn this over. We're going to put glue just along the side here, just up to that fold line. You don't have to worry about uh, adding glue to the bottom, just to the sides. And then when you bring it back in, just gently put it in is without moving the glue too much. So once you're happy with where you want it, just press down on that glue. Because if you move it around, then it's going to glue the um, some of the back bit and then you won't be able to create that tuck spot. So that pretty much does that. So there you have your little flat pocket and then you've got yourself a little tuck spot up there and you can also have this here as your pocket. If you don't want to use this and you want to just create this as your little pocket, you could also do that. And then that's where I ended up adding a few more little goodies in there. Same thing, just like that. And that goes like that. You can then just add... Um, a little ephemera on the bottom here or on the uh, center here if you wanted to and that just helps keeps that little flap closed and that's all there is to this really simple uh, little mini happy mail booklet just using one piece of six by six paper a couple of scraps no scoreboard and then you just have fun adding all of your fun goodies inside decorating and then uh, you'll be able to send this off to uh, your recipient. I hope you enjoyed this really easy, fun project. I'll see you in my next video for day two of my mini project series using 6x6 paper. Bye for now.